you need to represent the world. So in some sense, Microsoft's own goals around representation are all about ensuring uh, that we have a very diverse workforce uh, that then allows us to build the products and services that you know empower the world, which is our mission. Uh, we, in order to go make progress on it, one of the things that we do is really create transparency around these goals. In fact, each year we publish the report. Uh, we're just you know uh, getting ready to publish our next report for the year, uh, where all of the data is available. And one of the things I also like is each year we publish more data, so there's more transparency. Uh, well, the data that, that also comes with metrics that you set. Uh, we have a clear set of goals. In fact, comp compensation, even at the highest level, including mine, uh, are triggered by uh, us hitting these goals. So overall, I feel uh, that we have the right process, but a lot of progress that needs to be made. And one of the things that we're also focused on is not just about bringing people in, uh, it's also about the inclusion, right? The culture of inclusion is an everyday exercise, right? It's not, it doesn't matter what happened yesterday, but what is the lived experience of every individual, right? Aggregate data sometimes, uh, you know, is doesn't really represent the lived experience uh, for any individual. And so the, that's continuous process. You can never claim anything. Uh, all you can at least do is to have a culture that allows every leader, every manager, and every employee to have both the confidence as well as uh, the introspection capabilities to say, let's just push uh, and make sure the diversity and inclusion are key priorities for us.